Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video and press the bell icon. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up Bootstrap 5 in a web project using White. Bootstrap is one of the most popular CSS frameworks and White is an extremely fast build tool. So, let's combine the two and create a modern development workflow. First, navigate to the directory where you want to create your Bootstrap 5 project. Once you are in the desired folder, Right-click and select Open in Terminal to open the terminal window directly in that folder. Next, type code space dot to open current directory in Visual Studio Code. Now, right-click in the Explorer panel in Visual Studio Code, select New Folder and name the folder Bootstrap 5. Next, right-click on the Bootstrap 5 folder and select Open in Integrated Terminal. This will open the terminal inside your newly created folder, so you can start running your project commands. Here, I have opened the Bootstrap 5 documentation. Now that we have created the project folder and navigated into it, we need to initialize npm to set up our project. Copy this command. Now, paste the command you copied into the terminal and press enter to run it. This will automatically create a package.json file in your project folder with default settings getting your project ready for dependencies. Open your project folder and you will find a package.json file. Open it and you will see content like the name of your project, version, description, author, and default scripts. Now that we have initialized our project, let's go ahead and install the white tool to set up our development environment. Click here to copy this command. Next, paste the command and hit enter to install white and add it as a development dependency in your project. You can see that white has been added to the dev dependencies section of the package.json file. You will also notice that a new folder called node underscore modules has been created in your project directory. This is where all the packages and dependencies, including white, are stored locally. Now that we've installed white, let's go ahead and install bootstrap. We will also install popper.js since components like dropdowns, tooltips, and popovers rely on it for positioning. Click here to copy this command. Next, Paste the command you copied and press enter to install Bootstrap and Popper.js. You can see that both Bootstrap 5 and at Popper.js core have been added to the dependencies section of your package.json file. In addition to white and Bootstrap, we will also need one more dependency, SAS. This is required if you want to customize Bootstrap or import its source SCSS files properly. Click here to copy this command. Paste the command you copied and press enter to install SAS as a development dependency. SAS will help us compile Bootstrap's SCSS files during development. You can see that SAS has been added to the Dave dependencies section of your package.json file. Next, we need to organize our project files. Start by creating an SRC folder. Inside the SRC folder, create two subfolders, SCSS and JS. In the SCSS folder, create a file named styles.scss. Inside the JS folder, create a file called main.js. After that, create an index.html file directly inside the src folder. Finally, create a white.config.js file at the root of your project folder. Here is what the folder structure should look like at this point. Right-click on the Bootstrap 5 folder, select New Folder, and name it src. Inside the src folder, create a new folder named js. Then, inside the js folder, create a file called main.js. Inside the src folder, create a folder named scss. Then, inside the scss folder, create a file called styles.scss. Inside the src folder, create a file named index.html. This will be the main HTML file for our project and White will use it as the entry point. Right-click on the bootstrap folder, select new file and name it white.config.js. This is the configuration file for white, where we can customize how our project is built and served. Now let's configure white so we can run our project locally. Since the file is blank, we'll add some basic setup to tell white where to find our files and enable hot reload from the src folder. Click here to copy the code. Now, paste the code you copied into the white.config.js file. In this white config file, the server section sets the development server to run on port 8080. 
The build section sets the output folder to DIST above the SRC directory. Next, we will fill the index.html file. Click here to copy the code. Open the index.html file and paste the code you just copied. This script tag loads our main.js file from the JS folder. We are using type is equal to module, so we can write modern JavaScript and use ES module imports. This is a simple bootstrap layout using a container with some padding classes. Inside it, we have a heading and a primary bootstrap button to test that the styles are working correctly. Next, we need to add an npm script to run white. We'll use this script to start our local development server. Go ahead and copy this line of code. Now open the package.json file and paste the code you copied inside the script section. Now we need to run this command to start the white development server. Click here to copy this command. Paste the command into the terminal and press enter. You can see that the white development server has started successfully. The server has started and white is now running on localhost 8080. Go to your browser and navigate to localhost colon 8080. You can see the heading and button, but bootstrap styles aren't applied yet since we haven't imported its CSS and JavaScript. Import bootstraps CSS into styles.scss. Copy the code. Open styles.scss file and paste the code you copied. Next, we need to load the CSS and import all of bootstraps JavaScript inside the main.js file. You can also choose to import individual JavaScript plugins if you want to keep the bundle size smaller. Click here to copy this code. Open main.js file and paste the code you copied. Now, if you check the browser, you'll see that bootstrap styles have been applied to the h1 tag and the primary button. Let's add another button using the btn success class to show a different bootstrap style. Open index.html file. Duplicate the code for the primary button, change the class from btn primary to btn success, and rename the button to success button. Now, if you check your browser, you'll see the success button displayed alongside the primary button. You might have noticed, we didn't have to reload the page manually. That's because White automatically updates the browser with hot reload. In this video, we learned how to install and set up Bootstrap 5 using White. We installed White, Bootstrap, Popper JS, and SAS, configured everything step by step, and even tested our setup in the browser. This setup gives you a fast, modern development environment that's perfect for building responsive bootstrap projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content. Feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and I'll be happy to help. I will see you in next tutorial. Till then, stay safe.